that is weather pending. I know that we all say we want to get rid of the snow, but it's not abnormal for April. It's really, it's really not. It's one of our snowier months. April really is. But I think the problem is that we get warm in April pretty easily. We get these nice days and so people get more frustrated when stuff like this happens. It's real cold this morning and the snow is still there, although not as extensive as where we were. Canyon City is still seeing snow, but it's heavier through southern Fremont County out over in east of the wet mountains down to Rye, Colorado City, south of Pueblo and then more coverage in the plains. But like I said, that is really falling apart. So at this point, some flurries in Monument and then Pueblo South and Pueblo West, you get a little bit more snow. Palmer Lake just saw this report of about five to five and a half inches. Denver was three to five inches. Monument Hill was around three. So the Tri Lake seems to be anywhere from three to six inches, depending on your elevation, I think. Blend was out towards about three inches, so a little east of Pueblo. And then Napasta, Gold Hill Meso, close to one and a half to two. And our Rockerman studio was about one. Problem is, I think more snow fell than is reported because so much of it melted and left ice, especially with temperatures right now in the teens. Seven Woodland Park, 12 in Monument, 15 City Center, Colorado Springs, 19 to 25 from the Springs Airport south to Pueblo, more 20s out east. Now the winds are thankfully a lot lighter, but we still have a bit of a breeze from Springs, mostly noted to the plains, five to 15 miles per hour, generally east of I-25, kind of depending on where you are. Baca County, a little windy right now compared to everybody else. Today looks dry at this point once this morning snow cuts out, but it's cold and we'll keep that ice in pockets around for a good chunk of the morning here. Next two days, just limited rain to snow showers, so really pretty dry conditions, but it's still kind of chilly, so I thought, yeah, maybe. Maybe wait till the weekend, run some errands if you can. High temperatures today are set to be in the 30s in the Pikes Peak region. Springs, Monument, Woodland Park, all above freezing, but barely there, Woodland Park Monument. In the 40s in Pueblo, in the Plains, no 50s. Today's a pretty chilly one. The Alamosa area actually is the warmest. To over, overnight, tonight, our lows will be in the teens, especially in the central and upper Pikes Peak region, but a lot of 20s out there. So once again, things that are wet or slushy tonight could refreeze. Stairs, probably the most likely area we'd be concerned about our extended forecast. We will warm up through the end of the week. Thursday into Friday will be in the 50s. We'll be in the 60s and 70s over the weekend with dry skies. But I think the next really good chance of moisture is Friday. That's some rain and thunderstorms coming back to the forecast. Pueblo, we would be seeing some icy roads on Tuesday, just an evening flurry on Wednesday, but then on Friday, we've got some rain and thunderstorms back in the forecast. And hello, Sunday, we're going to be back in the 80s, so we kind of shrug this cold off pretty well. Canyon City, I've got us icy today, just an evening flurry on Wednesday, and then rain and thunderstorms Friday. Finally, Woodland Park, we're in the 30s, if not 40s, through time with some snow showers. The biggest rain chance is Friday.